Self-Awareness, The Magic Key That Unlocks All Universal Blessings Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audiobooks Office Introduction Self-Awareness, The Key That Unfolds All Universal Blessings opens the door to a transformative journey into the heart of your true self. This book is not just a guide, it's a compass that navigates through the layers of your being to uncover the profound power of self-awareness. With each page, you embark on an exploration that reveals how understanding yourself is the first step to unlocking the myriad blessings the universe has to offer. Crafted with warmth, insight, and a deep understanding of the human psyche, this book lays out a clear, accessible path to heightened self-awareness. It presents self-awareness not as a lofty goal, but as a practical, attainable state that anyone can achieve with the right tools and mindset. Through a mix of reflective exercises, real-life ideas, and thought-provoking content, the author invites you to engage with your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in a way that's both enlightening and empowering. Each chapter introduces a key to unlocking a specific aspect of self-awareness, from understanding your emotional triggers to recognizing your patterns and beyond. These keys are more than just thoughts, they are real tools that may be used in everyday life to help you live more consciously and in harmony with your actual nature. Self-awareness, the key that unfolds all universal blessings, also delves into how heightened self-awareness not only transforms your relationship with yourself, but also with the world around you. It shows how a deeper understanding of your inner world opens up new pathways to joy, fulfillment, and a sense of connection with the cosmos. This book is an invitation to anyone seeking to live a more authentic, purposeful life. Whether you're at the beginning of your self-awareness journey or looking to deepen your understanding, these pages offer valuable insights and guidance. Embrace the journey of self-awareness and discover how it unlocks the door to a universe of blessings waiting just for you. Let this book be your guide as you step into the light of your fullest potential. Standing at the gateway to a transformative expedition known as self-awareness, you are about to embark on a voyage of deep personal discovery. This journey is about uncovering the essence of who you truly are, delving into how you respond to the world acknowledging your talents, and addressing areas for growth. The adventure begins with self-reflection and seeking insights from those around you. As you cultivate greater self-awareness, you'll notice profound shifts in how you make choices and manage your emotions. Employing practices like journaling, meditation, and actively seeking feedback becomes your compass, guiding you towards revelations and aligning your deeds with the core of your being. Continue down this path and you'll unlock further strategies to foster your personal development and enhance your emotional intelligence. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 75% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 Definition of Self-Awareness Looking into the mirror of self-awareness reveals an excellent resource for personal growth and understanding. But first, let us explain what self-awareness genuinely is. To put it simply, self-awareness is the conscious understanding of one's own personality, feelings, motivations, and desires. It's like an internal compass guiding you towards your true north. It's important to note that self-awareness isn't merely about knowing your likes and dislikes. It goes deeper, probing into the core of who you are. It asks questions like, why do I react this way to certain situations or what underlying beliefs influence my decisions by answering these? You get a clearer picture of your unique personality, strengths, weaknesses, and patterns of behavior. Now, you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but how do I achieve self-awareness? It's a valid question, and the answer isn't always straightforward. It's a journey, not a destination. It begins with introspection looking inward, questioning your thoughts, emotions, and actions. But introspection alone isn't enough. You also need feedback from others to gain a fuller perspective. 
Chapter 2 The Importance of Personal Growth Understanding the importance of self-awareness in personal growth is crucial, as it's the key to unlocking your full potential and achieving a satisfying life. It's like having a compass in the journey of self-improvement. Without self-awareness, you're likely to wander aimlessly, unsure of your true goals, strengths, and weaknesses. Self-awareness allows you to understand your actions and motivations, giving you the power to make changes and build on your areas of strength, while also identifying areas where you can improve. It's about embracing who you are, flaws and all. Instead of letting your shortcomings discourage you, use them as stepping stones to become the best version of yourself. In the realm of personal growth, self-awareness acts as a mirror, reflecting your inner self. It reveals your emotions, thoughts, and beliefs, helping you understand why you act the way you do. This understanding leads to better decision-making and emotional management, enhancing your relationships both with yourself and others. Moreover, self-awareness propels you towards authenticity. When you're aware of your values, desires, and passions, you're more likely to align your actions with them, leading to a more fulfilling life. You will find it easier to develop and attain meaningful goals now that you have determined what is actually important to you. Chapter 3 Key Concepts and Principles Having explored the pivotal role self-awareness plays in personal growth, let's now examine its fundamental concepts and principles to deepen your grasp on this powerful tool for self-improvement. Self-awareness is all about understanding your own thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. It's the ability to recognize your emotions and their impact on your actions, which is also known as emotional intelligence. You'll need to develop an ability to identify your strengths, weaknesses, desires, and dislikes. Remember, it's not about being overly critical, it's about acknowledging your true self without judgment. The principle of self-acceptance is a key aspect of self-awareness. It encourages you to embrace your flaws and imperfections, recognizing them as part of your unique identity. This doesn't mean you shouldn't strive for improvement, but rather, it's about appreciating who you're right now, while still acknowledging areas for growth. Another core concept is mindfulness, being fully present and engaged in the current moment. This focus on the here and now allows you to tune into your feelings and thoughts, making you more self-aware. Finally, self-reflection is essential in self-awareness. It involves spending deliberate time thinking about your actions, motives, and feelings. It's about asking yourself questions like, why did I react that way, or what does this tell me about myself? Understanding these key concepts and principles will help you navigate the path to self-awareness, a journey that, while challenging at times, is incredibly rewarding. Chapter 4. Benefits of Self-Awareness Delving into the multitude of benefits that self-awareness brings, you'll discover it's a transformative tool that can greatly enhance various facets of your life. It's not just about knowing your likes and dislikes or understanding your strengths and weaknesses. It's a deeper exploration that uncovers your core values, motivations, and emotional responses. The first benefit that you'll unearth is better decision-making. When you're in tune with your feelings and the reasons behind them, your decisions become more aligned with your true self you'll find that you're less likely to be swayed by external influences and more likely to make choices that resonate with your beliefs and aspirations. Another advantage is improved relationships. Being self-aware means understanding your own emotional responses and how they affect your interactions with others. You'll start to notice patterns in your behavior, such as triggers that lead to conflict or behaviors that enhance your relationships. This awareness can help you to manage your reactions and foster more positive interactions. Self-awareness also facilitates personal growth. It's like holding a mirror up to yourself, highlighting areas for improvement. It's an opportunity to learn, adapt, and grow. You'll become more proactive, taking responsibility for your actions and their consequences. Lastly, self-awareness fosters a sense of authenticity. 
you'll feel a sense of alignment between your actions and your values, creating a more meaningful and purposeful life. In essence, self-awareness isn't just beneficial but essential. It serves as the foundation upon which to build a more fulfilling and true existence. So, focus on nurturing it. It's a journey worth embarking on. Chapter 5 Tools for Self-Reflection Now that you've grasped the immense value of self-awareness, let's explore some practical tools for self-reflection that can aid you in this enlightening journey. These tools will allow you to delve deeper, uncovering layers of understanding about your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Firstly, journaling is a powerful tool. By writing down your thoughts and emotions, you're creating a tangible record that you can revisit. This provides you with a unique opportunity to identify patterns and triggers in your behavior. It's like having a conversation with yourself, where you're both the speaker and the listener. Meditation is another beneficial tool. This practice helps you to stay present and mindful allowing you to observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment. It's a quiet space where you can meet yourself unfiltered. Remember, it's not about emptying your mind, but rather understanding its content. The third tool is seeking feedback from others. It may be uncomfortable, but it's a necessary step towards self-awareness. Your perception of yourself might differ from how others see you. Encouraging honest feedback can help bridge this gap granting you a more rounded view of yourself. Lastly, consider using personality tests like the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator or the Enneagram. While they're not definitive, they offer insights into your personality traits and can initiate self-reflection. Chapter 6 Developing Emotional Intelligence With the tools for self-reflection in your arsenal, it's time to hone your emotional intelligence an integral component of self-awareness that profoundly impacts how you perceive and manage your emotions. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, isn't merely about identifying your feelings. It's a deeper understanding of your emotional landscape, recognizing patterns, and using this knowledge to guide your thoughts and actions. Think of your emotions as a compass. They're not just reactions, but signals that provide invaluable insights about yourself and your interactions with the world around you. But to harness these insights, you need to develop your EQ. Start by practicing empathy. Try to put yourself in another person's shoes, feel their emotions, and understand their perspectives. This exercise not only boosts your EQ, but also fosters healthier relationships. Next, work on emotional regulation. It's not about suppressing your feelings, but managing them effectively. Understand that it's okay to experience intense emotions, but what matters is how you respond to them. Respond, don't react. Take a moment, breathe, and then decide on the best course of action. Lastly, remember that emotional intelligence, like any skill, requires constant practice and patience. You won't master it overnight, but every step forward is a victory. Accept this road of self-discovery and progress, and you will find yourself becoming not only more self-aware, but also more resilient, sympathetic, and emotionally balanced. Chapter 7 Self-Awareness and Mindfulness Building on your emotional intelligence, let's explore how self-awareness and mindfulness work together, guiding you towards a more profound understanding of your inner world. Self-awareness and mindfulness are two sides of the same coin, both crucial in cultivating a deeper connection with oneself. Self-awareness is your capacity to recognize your thoughts, feelings, and actions objectively. It's about understanding your strengths, weaknesses, and how you're perceived by others. Mindfulness, on the other hand, is the practice of being completely present and engaged in the current moment, making you more attuned to your senses thoughts, and emotions. These two concepts intertwine and amplify each other. When you're mindful, you're self-aware. When you're self-aware, you're mindful. By practicing mindfulness, you're enhancing your self-awareness, and vice versa. This synergy guides you to a deeper understanding of your inner world and helps you navigate your external world more effectively. You might ask, 
How does this work well? Imagine you're in a stressful situation. By practicing mindfulness, you're able to stay calm and focused, fully present in the moment without being overwhelmed. This mindfulness then enhances your self-awareness, allowing you to recognize your emotional responses and thought patterns, giving you insight into your reactions. Chapter 8. Recognizing Personal Triggers In the journey towards self-awareness, understanding and identifying your personal triggers is a significant step, as these are the stimuli that can evoke powerful emotional responses within you. It's important to know what might upset your emotional balance and why. Think about the situations, people, or comments that have upset you in the past. These are your triggers. They could be anything from criticism, rejection, or being ignored, to specific sounds, smells, or environments. It's not the trigger itself that's problematic, but your reaction to it. Your triggers are deeply personal and unique to you. They're rooted in past experiences and can often be traced back to unmet needs or unresolved issues. Recognizing your triggers isn't about avoiding them, but understanding why they affect you so you can manage your reactions better. It's about taking control of your emotions instead of letting them control you. It's about responding, not reacting. It's empowering to know your triggers, to anticipate and prepare for them. However, it's equally important to be patient and kind to yourself during this process. You're not flawed or weak because you have triggers. Everyone does. It's part of being human. Always bear in mind that self-awareness is a journey, not a destination. It's about growing and learning, about becoming more authentically you. And understanding your triggers, well, that's a major step in that journey. It's a step towards self-empowerment, self-control, and ultimately, self-awareness. So, take that step. Acknowledge your triggers. Understand them. Own them. And watch as your self-awareness flourishes. Chapter 9 Understanding Body Language Cues After acknowledging and understanding your triggers, let's now turn our attention towards another key aspect of self-awareness reading your own body language cues. Understanding these cues is like learning a new language. It's not just about gestures or postures, but also about facial expressions, eye contact, and even the pace of your breathing. Consider this when you're nervous you might fidget, avoid eye contact, or speak faster. These are all subtle, yet telling signs of your emotional state. By becoming more aware of these cues, you can start to recognize the emotions that trigger them. This can help you manage your reactions better and communicate more effectively. The key here is observation and mindfulness. Pay attention to what your body is doing in different situations. Notice how you sit, stand, or move when you're relaxed, stressed, or happy. This isn't about judgment, but about understanding. There's no right or wrong body language. It's simply a reflection of your inner state. Remember, self-awareness isn't an end goal, but a continuous process. It's about gaining a deeper understanding of yourself, your feelings, and how you respond to the world around you. Understanding your body language cues is a step towards this journey of self-discovery and growth. In the end, this isn't just about becoming more self-aware. It's about using this awareness to improve your relationships, your communication, and ultimately your quality of life. Chapter 10. Journaling for Self-Discovery Let's explore another enlightening tool in your self-awareness journey, journaling, which allows you to delve into your thoughts and emotions, revealing patterns and insights that might otherwise remain hidden. This practice can be a powerful tool, empowering you to explore your inner world. Journaling is much more than just writing down events of your day. It's about introspection, about exploring your thoughts, feelings, and reactions. It's about discovering what triggers certain emotions in you, what makes you happy, what frustrates you, and why. By documenting your inner dialogue, you're creating a space for self-reflection, allowing you to dissect your thoughts and emotions and understand their roots and influence on your behavior. Consider this as an open conversation with yourself, a safe place where you can be honest and candid. 
you might be surprised at what you discover. You're not just writing, you're engaging in a dialogue with your deepest self. This process can be enlightening, revealing underlying beliefs, assumptions, and biases you may not have been aware of. Journaling also helps you track your personal growth over time. Looking back on past entries can provide a clear picture of how far you've come, how you've evolved, and the progress you've made in your self-awareness journey. Chapter 11. Self-Awareness in Relationships. While journaling can guide you to deeper self-understanding, it's equally important to consider how self-awareness plays a pivotal role in your relationships with others. As you peel back the layers of your own psyche, you'll start to recognize patterns in your interactions and reactions. This recognition, in turn, can significantly enhance the quality of your relationships. Being self-aware in your relationships means understanding your emotions, your reactions, and your motivations. It's about recognizing when you're projecting your insecurities onto others, or when you're responding to a situation based on past experiences rather than the present moment. It's about understanding your needs and expressing them clearly and respectfully. It's also about understanding that others have their own sets of needs and emotions, which may differ from yours. Self-awareness also enables you to empathize more deeply with others. You will gain a better understanding of their points of view, which can assist reduce conflict and increase communication. This doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say or do, but understanding where they're coming from can help you navigate disagreements more effectively. In a nutshell, self-awareness in relationships is about realizing the role you play in your interactions with others. It's about owning your feelings and reactions, rather than blaming others for them. It's about understanding your patterns and working to change those that aren't serving you well. Embracing self-awareness in your relationships can lead to deeper connections, improved communication, and more fulfilling interactions. So make self-awareness a priority in your relationships. It's well worth the effort. Chapter 12. Overcoming Blind Spots Navigating the murky waters of personal blind spots is an essential step in deepening your self-awareness. These are areas of your life or personality that you're oblivious to, yet they impact your decisions, actions, and interactions. Recognizing and overcoming your blind spots can be a challenging but enlightening journey. Firstly, it's important to understand that everyone has blind spots. You're not alone in this. They're the result of various factors, including upbringing, experiences, and the subconscious mind's ability to protect us from uncomfortable truths. Understanding this can alleviate some of the guilt or embarrassment you might feel upon discovering your blind spots. Next, seek feedback from trusted people in your life. Friends, family, or mentors can offer a fresh perspective. They might see patterns or behaviors that you've missed. Remember, this isn't about criticism, it's about gaining insight. Finally, self-reflection is key. Spend time alone, review your day, your interactions, and your feelings. Look for patterns that might indicate a blind spot. Journaling can be a great tool for this, helping you to track thoughts, feelings, and behaviors over time. Overcoming blind spots isn't an overnight process. It takes time, patience, and a willingness to engage in sometimes uncomfortable self-discovery. But the rewards are worth it. As you uncover and address your blind spots, you'll cultivate deeper self-awareness, leading to improved relationships, better decision-making, and a more authentic life. Remember, self-awareness isn't about achieving perfection. It's about understanding and accepting your complete self, blind spots and all. Chapter 13. Practicing Self-Compassion Embracing self-compassion, you'll find it's not just about being kind to yourself in moments of failure or pain, but also about acknowledging and accepting your imperfections, an essential step towards deepening self-awareness. This acceptance isn't about wallowing in self-pity, but rather about understanding that you're a work in progress, and it's okay to have flaws and make mistakes. Remember, it's through these imperfections that you grow and become a better version of yourself. 
Practicing self-compassion involves recognizing your worth and treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding you'd offer a good friend. It's about being gentle with yourself, not harsh or judgmental. When you stumble, instead of beating yourself up, you need to remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes, and it's a part of the human experience. Furthermore, self-compassion allows you to acknowledge negative feelings without letting them control you. It's not about ignoring or suppressing your emotions, but rather about allowing yourself to feel them, understand them, and then let them go. This is pivotal in developing emotional intelligence and enhancing self-awareness. Ultimately, self-compassion is a vital tool in your self-awareness journey. It allows you to have a balanced approach to negative emotions and setbacks, leading to less anxiety and depression. It fosters resilience, helping you to bounce back from failures and face challenges with courage. By practicing self-compassion, you're not only accepting yourself with all your imperfections, but also empowering yourself to strive for continuous growth and improvement. Chapter 14. Setting Personal Boundaries To further enhance your self-awareness, it's crucial that you learn to set personal boundaries, a process that involves defining your limits and communicating them effectively to others. Personal boundaries act as invisible barriers that protect your mental and emotional well-being. They're the rules you set for yourself to dictate how you permit others to behave towards you. Understanding and setting personal boundaries isn't simply about self-preservation. It's a profound act of self-respect and self-love, a declaration that your needs, feelings, and well-being matter. The boundaries you set should reflect your values, desires, and what you're willing and not willing to accept in your relationships. Setting personal boundaries might feel uncomfortable at first, especially if you're not used to asserting yourself. Remember, it's not selfish or rude to prioritize your needs. It's equally important to communicate your boundaries clearly and directly. You can't assume that others will automatically understand or respect your boundaries if you don't express them openly. When you set boundaries, you'll likely face resistance from those who are used to overstepping them. Stand firm in your resolve, even when faced with pressure. Over time, you'll find that setting boundaries will lead to healthier, more balanced relationships. Chapter 15. Cultivating Empathy and Understanding In this journey of self-discovery, cultivating empathy and understanding plays a pivotal role, inviting you to step outside of your own experiences and immerse yourself in the emotions and perspectives of others. This isn't merely about feeling what others feel instead. It's about understanding their experiences from their point of view. It's about developing a sense of curiosity about their experiences and responding with kindness and compassion. Empathy and understanding aren't inborn traits, but skills to be learned and honed. Start by actively listening. This means not just hearing words, but seeking to understand the underlying emotions thoughts and experiences, ask thoughtful questions, show interest, and offer validation, all of which can foster deeper connections with others. Next, practice perspective taking. Imagine yourself in someone else's shoes and attempt to see the world through their eyes. This not only broadens your viewpoint, but also helps you understand others' reactions and decisions better. Chapter 16. Honing Decision-Making Skills Mastering the art of decision-making, a key component of self-awareness, requires deliberate practice and reflection. It's not just about reacting to situations, but understanding why you're making certain choices and how they'll affect your future. To perfect this skill, you must be aware of your own ideas, feelings, and motivations. Start by acknowledging the decision-making process as an essential part of your life. Recognize that every choice, no matter how mundane, contributes to the person you're becoming. This understanding encourages a more conscious approach to decision-making. Next, learn to trust your intuition. It's the gut feeling that nudges you towards or away from certain actions. You've likely experienced it before. It's important to note, however, that intuition isn't arbitrary. It's informed by your past experiences and accumulated knowledge, so don't disregard it. 
Listen to your inner voice. Also consider the impact of your decisions on others. This requires empathy and understanding of the emotions and perspectives of those around you. If your decisions hurt someone unnecessarily, they're likely not the best choices. Practice making decisions in a calm, non-stressful environment. This allows you to think clearly and objectively. Over time, this practice will enhance your decision-making ability even in stressful situations. Chapter 17. Managing Emotions Effectively. Just as you're learning to make mindful decisions, it's equally important to understand and manage your emotions effectively as they play a significant role in shaping your actions and reactions. Your emotions are your inner compass, guiding your interactions with yourself and others. However, they can sometimes lead you astray if not properly managed. To manage your emotions effectively, you need to first be aware of them. This entails noticing your feelings as they arise and comprehending their causes. It's not about suppressing or hiding from your emotions, but acknowledging them. This acceptance creates a sense of calm that allows you to think clearly and respond, rather than react. Next, you need to express your emotions in a healthy and constructive way. This doesn't mean venting aggressively or repressing your feelings, but rather finding a balanced approach. You can accomplish this by engaging in mindfulness and emotional management practices, such as deep breathing and meditation. These routines can help you stay grounded and in control of your emotional responses. Lastly, remember that it's okay to seek help if you're struggling with managing your emotions. You don't have to do it alone. A therapist or counselor can provide you with valuable tools and strategies to cope with your emotions effectively. Chapter 18. Enhancing Communication Skills. Effective communication skills are your bridge to understanding others and expressing yourself with clarity, fostering healthier relationships and a more profound sense of self-awareness. They're more than just a tool for interaction, they're a pathway to deeper self-discovery and personal growth. Consider this when you express your thoughts and feelings clearly, you're practicing self-awareness. You're acknowledging what's within you and giving it a voice. Moreover, Listening empathetically to others not only fosters stronger connections but also broadens your perspective, providing deeper insights about yourself and the world around you. Let's explore how you can enhance your communication skills to bolster your self-awareness journey. Firstly, active listening is crucial. It's not just about hearing words, it's about understanding the emotions and intentions behind them. By doing so, You'll not only understand others better, but also become more aware of your reactions and responses. Secondly, practice openness and honesty. Convey your opinions and feelings without fear of being judged. It's okay to be vulnerable. This honesty with yourself and others can lead to a more authentic self-awareness. Lastly, don't shy away from feedback. It's a goldmine for self-improvement and self-awareness. Constructive criticism can help you see blind spots in your behavior or thinking patterns that you might be unaware of. Chapter 19. Self-Awareness for Stress Management An overwhelming majority of us face stress in our daily lives, but cultivating self-awareness can serve as your personal, powerful tool for managing and reducing this stress effectively. You might wonder how self-awareness plays a role in stress management. Well, being aware of your emotions, thoughts, and behaviors allows you to recognize your stress triggers, understand your reactions, and ultimately develop strategies to cope better. Stress often sneaks up on us because we're not fully tuned into our emotional states. Imagine driving a car blindfolded you wouldn't know when to turn or stop. That's how it's when you're not self-aware. You're unable to navigate your emotional landscape effectively making it easy for stress to take the wheel. But how can you use self-awareness to manage stress? First, start by identifying your stress triggers. These could be specific situations, people, or even thoughts. Now, observe your reactions to these triggers. Do you feel anxious, frustrated, or overwhelmed? Recognizing and addressing these sensations is the first step towards stress management. 
Next, reflect on your coping mechanisms. Are they healthy? Maybe you tend to binge eat or withdraw from social activities. It's important to note these reactions. Self-awareness allows you to see these patterns and gives you the power to change them. Chapter 20. Self-Awareness in Leadership In your leadership journey, developing self-awareness can dramatically transform your decision-making, communication skills, and your ability to inspire and motivate others. Self-awareness, understanding your emotions, strengths, weaknesses, and values, isn't just about personal introspection. It's an essential tool for effective leadership. Consider decision-making. By recognizing your biases and understanding how your feelings can sway your choices, you're better equipped to make objective decisions. You're able to put aside personal feelings, ensuring fairness and impartiality. It's not just about making the right call, but doing so in a way that's transparent and justifiable. Similarly, self-awareness enhances your communication skills. By understanding your own emotions, you can empathize better with your team members' feelings and perspectives. This empathy allows you to articulate your thoughts more effectively, fostering open dialogue and collaboration. Lastly, let's look at motivation. A self-aware leader recognizes their own strengths and weaknesses and uses this understanding to inspire others. By acknowledging your limitations, you not only make yourself more relatable to your team, but also encourage them to embrace their own self-awareness journey. Moreover, self-awareness allows you to identify and understand your team's unique skills and talents. This understanding can help you delegate tasks more effectively, leading to increased efficiency and productivity. Chapter 21. Integration with Personal Values How do your personal values intersect with your journey towards self-awareness? It's essential to understand that these aren't separate entities but intertwined aspects of your unique identity. Your values are a compass, guiding your actions and decisions. But without self-awareness, that compass can lead you astray. Let's delve into this further. Self-awareness is about recognizing your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. It's about understanding your strengths, weaknesses, and patterns. Now, Imagine how intertwined this is with your personal values. Your values often influence your thoughts, shape your feelings, and drive your behaviors. They're the bedrock upon which your self-awareness is built. When you're aware of your values, you can align your actions accordingly. You'll find that your life becomes more meaningful and your decisions more satisfying. This is because you're not just reacting to life's fluctuations, but you're actively shaping your life based on what truly matters to you. But here's the catch. Your values aren't static. They evolve as you grow, learn, and experience life. That's why it's important to regularly revisit your values, reflect on them, and ensure they're still congruent with who you are. This is where self-awareness plays a pivotal role. It allows you to notice shifts in your values, to understand why these shifts occur, and to realign your actions accordingly. In essence, integrating personal values with self-awareness is about living intentionally. It's about understanding yourself, honoring your values, and making conscious choices that create a fulfilling life. Chapter 22. Reflecting on past experiences. Delving into the labyrinth of your past experiences can unlock profound insights about your true self. It's not about dwelling on the past or fostering regrets, but rather about understanding the patterns, appreciating the lessons, and recognizing the growth. You're not the same person you were yesterday, let alone years ago. Reflecting on those changes can help you comprehend your path and appreciate your present self. Consider your past experiences as guideposts on your journey to self-awareness. They've shaped your perspectives, beliefs, and behaviors. Each one, whether positive or negative, has contributed to the person you've become. You've learned from each success, failure, joy, and sorrow. It's important to honor those parts of your story as they've played a role in molding your character. To do this, you can start by looking at specific events or periods in your life. What were the circumstances? How did you handle them? What did you learn? 
How have these experiences influenced you? By asking yourself these questions, you're not just recounting memories but actively engaging in introspection. Remember, self-awareness isn't about judging yourself, it's about understanding. It's normal to feel a range of emotions during this process. You might feel pride, regret, sadness, or joy, and that's okay. Embrace these emotions as they come. They're part of your journey and they offer valuable insights into who you are. Keep in mind, reflecting on your past experiences isn't about becoming stuck in the past. It's about using the past as a mirror to better understand your present and prepare for your future. Chapter 23 Goal Setting and Self-Accountability Moving forward, it's essential to turn your focus to setting meaningful goals and taking responsibility for your own actions, as these are fundamental steps in enhancing your self-awareness. What you aim for in life greatly reflects who you are, and the way you handle yourself when you fall short says even more about your character. Goal setting isn't just about writing down aspirations. It's about digging deep, understanding what genuinely drives you, and choosing ambitions that align with your values. It's about setting a direction for your life, a compass that will guide you towards self-understanding and growth. When you set meaningful goals, you're effectively outlining a path to manifest your self-awareness into tangible outcomes. But setting goals is only half the equation. You've got to learn to hold yourself accountable. Self-accountability means not blaming others or circumstances for your failures or missteps. On the contrary, it is about accepting responsibility for your mistakes, learning from them, and using them to propel you forward. It's about self-discipline, taking actions consistent with your goals, even when it's hard or inconvenient. It's about understanding that you're in control of your behavior and, ultimately, your life's direction. As you learn to set goals and hold yourself accountable, you'll find that your self-awareness increases you'll understand your strengths and weaknesses better. You'll see how your actions align or don't with your values. And ultimately, you'll be better positioned to lead a life that's true to who you are. Chapter 24 Sustaining Self-Awareness Practices In the journey of self-awareness, sustaining your practices isn't just about persistence, it's a commitment to constant self-reflection and adjustment a commitment that's crucial to maintaining growth and progress. You're not just on autopilot, merely ticking the boxes of daily routines. You're actively engaged in assessing the impact of your actions, attitudes, and thoughts on your overall well-being. Imagine driving a car. You don't just keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. You also constantly check your mirrors, gauge your speed, and anticipate possible roadblocks. Sustaining self-awareness practices is similar. You're not just going through the motions, you're deliberately engaging with your internal and external environments, making necessary adjustments as you go along. To sustain these practices, make room in your schedule for regular self-reflection. It's essential to pause, step back, and take stock of where you're in your self-awareness journey. What's working? What's not? Are you moving closer to your goals or drifting away from them? These reflective moments offer valuable insights that can guide your progress. In life's grand tapestry, self-awareness is your guiding compass, steering you towards personal growth. It's your light in the murkiness of confusion, illuminating your strengths, weaknesses, and values. With self-reflection tools and a dash of self-accountability, you're not just surviving, but thriving, painting vibrant strokes on your canvas of life. Keep nurturing this practice, and you'll see the world, and yourself, in a new light. So here's to a more self-aware you, a masterpiece in progress. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.